Yo, we have a hundred parking spots already filled up. We're about to meet the other thing. <laughs> I mean, this is all a good problem, believe me. The fact that we can't keep people satisfied and they're waiting in line for something. Look, we, we did it. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to another brick in the mall. I'm the bird known as Falcon. This is me talking really weird for no reason whatsoever. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. And again, as I mentioned last episode, suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. If you have any sort of comment you want to share with me, a type of like individual type of layout you would like to see, a type of store, how you want me to build this, give me an idea. I'm open for all of them. You will see it if I choose yours in a future episode. I record ahead of time a couple of episodes. I have videos to show off because, you know, I don't do this full time. It's a, you know, a hobby for me. So I do record ahead. So I have episodes to show off daily. Anyway, today, um, I let this run in the background here a little bit for a day or two. We're making some really good money, guys. I'm not going to spoil anything just yet, but we're making some pretty decent money. And you know what happened as well? My parking lot got completely filled up. People were leaving because I had no room in the parking lot. So, I'm going to take the appliance store. I'm going to put this on standby for a bit. We have to do some stuff for the parking lot today. And we're going to probably have to hire more people for the restaurant morning and nighttime now as well. And we're also going to probably have to do the same for the clothing store. We're making so much money. We're having so many people come in that we kind of have to do it now. So, it's great. I didn't do it beforehand because I thought, you know, we were kind of like low. But, yeah, now we do need it. So, uh, let's start off here with the important stuff, which is going to be the parking uh, I guess for now, until I get an idea as to what layout of this is going to be, I'm going to probably extend this down here. Since we have our worker here right now, let's go into uh, road work. Sounds like a really decent deal to me. And I know I, the problem with this is going to cost me a lot of money to do this for one. And then we have to hire people, which is another expenditure. So it's going to definitely have an impact. Oh, no. Don't pause the video and go back and see how much money I made, okay? Uh, don't you dare spoil it for yourself, okay? We're not ready yet. Um, I want you to see, by the end of the day, how much we're going to be making here. Although, it does fluctuate per day, obviously. So, well, maybe. It won't even be as good. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, we need to have... Ugh. This parking is getting further and further away from our setup over here. Maybe I should extend it down here, huh? Yeah, maybe we kill this spot and have a road through here. Because it feels like people are going to be walking really far now for the services over here, which not might not make them too happy. Although I do plan to add more stuff down here at some point, but... Hmm. The thing is... Okay, look. I'm going to expand this at some point as well. So let's leave a little bit of room. So let me... How about we do this instead? How about we kill... Let me have to... Can I just do that? How about we kill like a spot here and we make a oh Okay, we'll kill this spot. Actually, we'll we'll kill this spot and we'll curve it through here. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. Okay. So, uh remove road work from here and here for now. Get your ass over here. Okay. So you do that. Do the other part too. And before you run off, I'm going to give you another order for this here. I'm going to extend this bad boy down to... Not all the way down here. I just want to get an idea. Um, I probably won't be building stuff behind this this little area. So I think we could probably go further up. Like, maybe down to that. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From this point. So... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And, oh, wait, wait, this, yeah, this has to be a road as well. Because we're building roads and then we'll build the parking spots afterwards. Okay. All right, we're getting a little bit of a different shape as well, which is cool. I like to see different shapes. We've been seeing the same setup for a while, so something new is always good. Let's go to customer parking. And we'll set you up like so. And it cost me a lot of dollary dues, but you know what? If we're capping at 100 customers already, I think we need the extra spots. The reason not to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We probably don't need this many just yet. But, you know, I'll just go ahead and take the, the hit for it now just to have it ready. Not to worry about it later. Again, this is only part one. Part one is just giving enough room for more customers. Part two is going to be day and nighttime shifts. As a matter of fact... As a matter of facto, um, let's actually work on the hours and hire people here now if we can. So let me go to manage here before you finish up those roads. Let's go into fast food restaurant. Okay. So here at the moment, we open up at 9 and we close at 8. This is going to have to change. Now, what time do we open up the store over here? The store opens up at 6. Okay. 
So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we don't have to open up instantly at six, but we could do like a. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we could do like a nine to eighteen still, and then we do the eighteen uh, closing time. How does that sound? So like. We have more people come in at 17 or 18 and then work the rest of the shift. Maybe we even knock this. How about this? We knock this bad boy up to eight and this over here. Okay. And now we go to the staff. So we have to go to the pre-existing staff first. Uh, Tom Stevens, the cashier, I need you to come in at eight. Okay. Um, the moment we open, you show up. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and then we are store clerk. You come in at, oh, you were coming in at eight already. Perfect. So you're cool. And then the cook, bring your ass in at 8 as well. Okay. And you guys are leaving at, what is that, 18 maybe? 18? When we used to close maybe? Okay, that's fine. So now we have to hire two more people because you can't work beyond that. That would be illegal. <laughs> kind of like, you know, I have my life of my own instead of just working, Falcon. So hire a cashier that comes in at 8 to closing is what we're going to do here. So let's go over. And who do we have for cashier? We have, your speed is goddamn terrible, Liam Tyler. That's very unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna go with Penny Bowen here. So I'm gonna hire you as a cashier. I need you to, excuse me, don't, don't, don't unpause game. We're not ready for you to unpause. Penny Bowen, you're gonna come in at, do, do, do. Oh man, I don't want to pay you extra hours and be closed that time. All righty, we're gonna have to move this back. So not at 17. Uh, 16. 15, huh? Okay. Uh, we're opening earlier. It does seem then. It does indeed seem we're going to be doing that. So let's go to the original guy here. And you bring that ass over to... 6 in the morning. I guess we open up at the same time as the store. Okay. Well, it works out when it comes to our times anyway. So, sure. Um, we'll come to work in 23 hours. No, I need you to come in now. Okay, here's what I could do. Here's what I could do. Hold up, hold up. I think I could do this. Hold up. Mm. Well, okay. You'll come in now. I'll, I'll switch the hours after today. Okay, you guys remind me. Falcon, switch the hours. So, we'll have you at 7. Bring your ass in. Now, store clerk, bring that ass in. Now. Okay, that's good. Now, you are starting off at 15. Now we need to hire a cook for 15. Cooks, cooks, cooks. We have you. Your speed is real terrible. I think you have to be really fast to cook, man. So I guess we'll go with Anthony Cooper. Stop on passing the game on me. And we need one more clerk here as well. It's going to cost us a lot of money to keep all these extra people now on shift. But, you know, we'll see how it plays out. You are, man, you're really good all around, huh? Well, it's a small store, so I don't think I really need somebody too amazing. So we'll just go with Aaron Dunk. I'm going to save Josh Bruce for another job, more than likely. Okay. Pause, please. Uh, let's see. 15. You start at 15. And you start at 15. Hey! Okay. And let's set the, the time. 7 o'clock. So open up now. And yeah, look at the net profit from the store. Really terrible. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's done. Um, next thing is the clothing store. You guys also need to probably open up earlier. And I also need to move you. Oh, shoot, son. If I move you up, we can't sell from this side. So we're going to probably have to set up a shelf area over here. Unless, unless, no, that's not. Yeah, we need more room. We absolutely need more room here. So I think we kill these bad boys and we line up over here. So um, let's remove ob. Oh, we haven't done the tiles just yet. We should do that soon. I forget that we have tiles is what I'll mess around with. I'll do that soon. Um, let's get rid of you guys for sure. I believe. And I'm, I'm going to need two people here in daytime and two people at nighttime. Because now we're selling a lot here. And it does seem that we've been lining, uh, filling up these lines. So I think we might need an extra cashier or two. So, um, where are my workers at? Are they finishing up the roads? Great. Here is the restaurant now open. Okay. Um, customer parking. I should have probably added those. Come and do this here first. I want to get the store ready. And then this should be enough parking for today. I hope so, anyway. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to have you instead build the shelves 
over through here. I don't think that's going to impede people's walking by, right? There's still an aisle right here. It's a small one, sure, but it's still an aisle. It'll work. And do that. Okay. And over here, I need you to fill up with the stuff that we removed, which hasn't taken effect just yet, but it soon will. Okay. Um, and this has to be moved up one. So while we're at it, remove this bad boy. And we will rebuild it stronger, faster, better, stronger, whatever. Uh, don't, don't, don't go away. Don't you dare go away right now. Uh, let's move this one up here. And then we'll have, actually, no, no, Falcon. You don't have to remove this one. This one's fine. You just added that, needed room to add another one. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Um, can we possibly cancel the removal of that? There you go. Okay. Go to select. And what do I need for you now? We need to add. Women's shoes and underwear? No, no, we don't. We only have men's shoes. The, the underwear's gone. I removed them just now. Game, you, you haven't updated. You got to update for me. Well, whatever. We'll just do it here then. There you go. Now it updated. So we have two extra stuff here. Women's shoes. Man, the profit's really high for those, isn't it? Oh, boy. <laughs> I should probably add some more. It does seem like we're doing pretty well in selling those. And women love shoes, man. Can't go wrong with that. I almost want to do it again, huh? That's the women's lingerie. Okay. That's good. Now, 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 let's go forward. Um, let's, um, let's hide, or let's fix the hours here. Let's let this run in the background in real time. But we need to fix the hours down here now. So, for our store down below, you're making some really good money for me. Look at that right there. That is really good stuff. Um, let's see here. So, you guys are coming in at what, 14? So I want you guys to come in at 14, that's fine. I need to have somebody come in earlier for the morning shift. So we'll open up at nighttime, and then we'll open up in the morning for tomorrow. So here, what I need right now is another cashier and another clerk for... Actually, no, no, one clerk's enough. We just need one extra cashier for the nighttime. So hire a cashier, and we saw that Josh Bruce is really amazing. So Josh Bruce, bring that ass in here, and I want you to start at 14 as well. Good job, Bruce. Okay. And while we're at it... Let's also, well, we'll set up the opening hour um, once they're at here working. Because I don't want to have it open now with nobody here just yet. And let's also go ahead and hire two more cashiers while we're at it. So we're going to be going with, I guess, Alexandra Wu. Wu, Wu, Wu. You know it. Um, and I need you to come in at, not right, no, no, you're stuck in traffic. No, 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 don't come right now. No, 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 don't, don't. Look, 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 fire. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to fire you, but, okay, I'm going to wait until... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wait until later, because they want to come into work now, and it's no good. So we'll hire you later. You can't come in now, okay? I'm going to wait till they're here working. I'll change the hours of the store, and then we hire the people for the morning shift. And it should work out that way. Okay. That is all well and done. Uh, we have still have a couple of builders here left over, so because of that, let's also go and continue our road work here. So let's go into road work and more customer parking. As I mentioned, I do want to um, give some customer parking over here. Or not customer parking here, but some employee parking here as well. And I will be doing that. We could do that now, I guess. Oh, what happened here? What did we just meet? Make 50,000 total sales. Pretty good. Hey, look at all that we're building and look how much money we're doing. We're about to break even already. Considering all we've been spending right now, it seems pretty good. Pretty goddamn good, as a matter of fact. All right. There they are. So here they're working now, and we have two of you guys working. There you go. Stocking that bat up. Um, let's go over here, and uh, now we can change the hours before I forget, because I know I'll forget. You know me. I forget everything. Let's go to zone, and our opening hours are now going to be at... Should it be six, I guess, like everything else? So if we do six, I need to hire two more cashiers and another store clerk for the morning. So let's see if this is going to work out for me. We could do... Alexandra Wu, as I mentioned, you bring that ass in at six. We'll have a little bit of spillover. Um, that's fine. In case somebody gets stuck in traffic, I think six is fine. And we need another one as well. We'll go with Brittany Ball. Very good. At six o'clock as well. And then finally, a clerk for the morning as well. And we're going to go with... Oh, you guys have bad speed. I guess we'll go with Lauren Pew. Pew. Okay. There is good. 
That is good. Oh my god, we're not we can't even keep all the stuff in the shelves. We need to expand his store clerk area. Oh, what's happening now? Okay, that that's before. Customers are leaving without buying anything because the checkout queues are full. Where is that at? Oh my god. Hey, come on, people, disperse a little bit. There's uh, other cashiers. Are we making that much money? We have to open up more cashiers now? I mean, that's a good thing. Oh my god, we are. <gasps> Jesus Christ almighty. How much money are we planning to make here today, huh? Yo, we have a hundred parking spots already filled up. We're about to meet the other thing. <laughs> I mean, this is all a good problem, believe me. The fact that we can't keep people satisfied and they're waiting in line for something. Look, we, we did it. Have 200 customers on, on site now. We got up to the 100 one. This is a good problem. We're at 4,400. We still have so much time left in the day. Alrighty, this is all a good problem, believe me. It's, it sucks right now, but it's a good problem because now I know where to expand to. Wow, we. I guess we're gonna have to add another cashier, huh? Jeez. Maybe even two at this point. Oh boy. Well, oh, that is gonna actually impact our profit margin because there's gonna be like less stuff on the shelves, so. I don't know, man. It might be time for us to expand the store a little bit. Like, maybe add a little bit of, uh, area right here. Another checkout stuff. Like, express checkout. You know, 15 items or less. I think that works out. It works out in my head. So, you know what? Let's wait until, um, we're closed up. Look at that. You guys are working until the nighttime. Very cool. Very cool. And you guys are working over here. Oh, my God! This is looking so cool now! I'm loving this so much! <laughs> awesome. Alright, look at that! We're about to crack 10,000 in a day! We're very close to it. But leave me, by tomorrow we should be able to do it easily, no problems asked. Alright, so, uh, let's put this in real time, and we have a worker here, which is great. Parking is now complete. Look at the long walk some of these people have to make, though. That really sucks, but, uh, you know, it happens. Um, alright. Let's go over here, and what we're going to be doing is actually... Expanding the store over here. So... How is that going to work out? I usually have a problem when it comes to expanding the pre-existing foundation, so I just kind of like build through here. Okay. So, um, I kind of want to use this wall from the toilet as my pre-existing area. So what if we did like, oh no, maybe, oh, it's going to cost me a lot of money, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. We could even add more stuff now. We have a couple of items we haven't sold just yet, so we could probably even start placing them in here for now. Um, yeah, this could work. This could work. Let's go for it, right? What do you guys think? Go for it? Let's go for it, Falcon. Is that what you're saying? Just go for it. There it is. Okay, we're going for it. It's going to cost me a lot of money, but I think it's fine. And let's go into fast speed. I want to see how this is going to work out. All right, you broke that area, which is something I expected to happen, so now we'll set up the walls yet again. We're going to build some walls. Yep, very good. Very excellent. And remember, we have to set this up as part of the store, too, because now I think we've lost it as part of the store. So, build it up. Very cool. Um, let's go into a sign. Yes, a sign. And you're part of the store. Everything here is part of the store, actually, so... That is good. Up. Oh. oh, delete an active zone. No, 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 not the restroom. Cancel, cancel. Yeah, that's that's its own thing. I forgot about that. Uh, we're we're looking at looking at this, right? Yes. Very good. Okay. Now that is part of the store here, and now it's closed off, which is great. Okay, cool. So that's done. Now, before. It's 4 o'clock, it's almost opening time. Before people start showing up, let's add these extra cashiers if we can. Um, my smart money is going to be on... You know what I want to do, actually, now that I think about it? How about we add another like set of doors over here? Yeah, like a, like a little bit of another exit, maybe? So I don't have to come back through here. Can I add that? Let's see. Would that work out well? <laughs> They're going to walk out right into the garbage area. <laughs> We're like, oh my god. Uh, let's go into build... Uh, objects, and we'll go into the double doors. I mean, it'll work out. It's going to be kind of a little bit wonky, but sure, whatever, man. Just place that shit right here. Okay, and now... Um, mind you, I'm going to leave some room empty for future expansions, because I know we'll probably have future expansions easily. So, for now, though, we'll do like a one and a two. I think all we need now is two. I'm going to be content with only two for now. So we'll place two more cashiers, and we're going to have to hire them now. Show up now, as a matter of fact. 
So actually, no, we don't need them now. You know what? This happened. Our congestion happened in the afternoon. So maybe in the afternoon is when we need the extra people. Maybe. I'm going to say maybe. So you know what? Let's go into Manage, and we want to go into the very first store, which is Store 2. And I'm going to hire two more cashiers for the afternoon shift, which usually people come in at what time? Afternoon people? Afternoon people. 15. They come in at 15, roughly. So hire cashier for... Mm, yeah. Uh, hire cashier for... Oh, you're not too great, are you? I'm going to call Drew Patterson, I guess. Drew Patterson, bring that ass in at 15 as well. i eh, bring it 14. And... Should we test that one morning, one afternoon first, and then we move on to 2 and 2 if we need them? I think that might be a good idea. Ed Farley, bring your ass in... Um, at 7. We'll test it out, one and one first, and we'll see how much money we make, if we're losing any type of money, stuff like that. So we'll do just one and one for now. And if we need to add another person to fly for the afternoon, we'll do it then, and we'll go to like a one and two, and then we'll do a two and two. I hope this is uh, not going over your head. <laughs> it's like, what the hell are you talking about these numbers here, man? It, it makes sense in my head, believe me. Now, ooh, we researched media supplier, great. What's next? Appliance? You do it. You do what you have to do here in the background game. You leave me. You leave the selling to me. You do the researching in the background. So now we have so much room. We should probably add more stuff because more money is always a good thing. Now, um, what can we probably profit from here? Um, you know what we didn't we research? Hold up. Didn't we? Let, let me run this in the background. I guess. Let, didn't we research like? Uh, oop, that's not it. We researched not medium supplier. I'm going to put this in the quote-unquote best buy that we're building at some point. I know I haven't gone back to it yet. We will. Clothing, that's already set up. Chemical supplier. We did add some of these already in the store, so that's fine. Uh, media supplier. Oh, it's tools. I, I was going to probably do tools over here. We could have done tools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll go back to the tools later. I, I want to do the appliance thing so we have everything set up for our little Best Buy. So, as a matter of fact, though, we have to use some of the pre existing stuff again. So, what is in demand? Milk, as usual, bottled water, and beer, and the soda. People want movies, people want bowling. Mm hmm. Well, there's really nothing that says we can't have... You know what? Stores nowadays, they have, like, DVDs. It doesn't matter what type of store it is, like, groceries. They have, like, DVDs and, like, you know... They're not amazing DVDs, but they have, like, you know, like, these $3.99 DVDs are, like, packed with a bunch of different, like, stuff that nobody ever watched in their life from, like, the 50s or something. They have those in the checking aisles, so I think it makes sense. Uh, what do I need for that? Here we go. We need shelves. So, let's do... Uh, I'm gonna do a little break-off spot here. So they have, like, a walking area. So we'll do... Bam, bam, bam. Remember, this right here is the line. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is the line. That's the line. So, there can't be anything over here. So, we need... Uh, it's going to be kind of weird. It's going to be kind of weird. I guess we'll do... Like this. Oh, it's going to break the continuity! Then again, it is a different section of the store. So, it does make sense if it's a little broken up. Yeah. Sure, why not? That's fine. That's fine right there. We'll do that. Might even do another setup. And then we do the food shelf, table, do a fridge. Fridge, fridge, fridge. Food shelf, food shelf, food shelf, food shelf, and... Uh... Oh, wrong spot. There you go. Okay. My god, you, <laughs> you were just on top of that, weren't you? Okay. Uh, store clerk, you better be ready for this shit, because we're about to fill in like crazy. So, you run in the background. Excuse me, run in the background. Meanwhile, I'll fill this up. So, let's see here. We're going to go with... Mm, books. And books. And then we'll do DVDs and Blu-rays. DVDs and Blu-rays. We'll do some music CDs. Music CDs. 
And video games actually work out too. These are like the shitty games. This is like shovelware. Yeah, I know you've been to your grocery store or like, you know, like a CVS, a uh, Savon, uh, whatever the hell is in your area. And you always see like those little like, you know, shovelware games that are, you're kind of looking and you're like, I never heard of this game in my life. Where did this come from? And it's like $1.99. You're thinking, should I do it? And you think best of yourself. You're thinking, no, I should probably shouldn't buy this piece of shit game because it's probably a piece of shit. Well, that's what that is right here. You know what? I really feel uncomfortable about this. You know what? I, never mind. I'm going to destroy that one. I want people to be able to walk around through here because otherwise they have to go all the way. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's not good. Um, no, 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 no. We're looking to remove. Yeah, let me remove this one here. I don't like that one. I want to have some space for people to walk by. So I'm going to sacrifice an extra spot for that. Just because um, otherwise my... I mean, my OCD is already killing me from doing this, but I still kind of talk myself into making it okay. But here, I need some spacing, man. I definitely need some spacing. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. So, you still have to put something here, Falcon. Which is going to be... What are we low on? Well, I guess toys could work out here, too. We barely use those. Okay. Now up here. Milk and ice cream, it seems to be like the really... Actually, milk and beer seems like the big thing. People always want that. Let me do a couple more of the frozen veggies. And then over here, we'll do some more beer. Some beer and a DVD, you know? Beer and... Uh, another beer. Okay, that's good. And then over here, a couple of extra food. Something that we're kind of low on, I guess. Something that people don't really... Oh, let's do some wine. Yeah. Do some wine. And wine. And over here, we'll do something that we're kind of low on, like, say, canned food, coffee, and tea. Sure, we'll do some coffee and tea. And... Nah, it's very low. I don't think people really want sauce and pan. Let's go with... I don't know, cookies, I guess. And down below here... <laughs> smartphones, jeez, now that's a really high-end grocery store. Uh, no. Uh, those are gonna be safe for the Best Buy, so we'll do fresh veggies and... I think fresh veggies and bread are kind of like the high ones when it comes to the fresh foods. Okay. So, that is there. Have we really broken even before 12 o'clock? Oh my god. How you guys doing over here? You guys are probably pulling some good business for me, aren't you? You probably are. Okay. Alrighty, so that, now everything's done. Let's actually just chill here and see what's going to happen. I don't even know how long this episode's been running because I've been so busy adding stuff and taking stuff apart. Our garbage disposal seems to be pretty good over here as well. Um, you guys are set up, right? Like somebody's gonna come in at nighttime for the the fast food joint, right? E yes, absolutely they are. Okay, yeah, we're keeping this open the entire day. Look at that, man! Look at this. We're up to five thousand, a little bit over after the um, halfway point of our day. This is ridiculous now, and the lines seem to be looking pretty good. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I think. I think we're going to actually have to even add some more lines, which is the reason why I left this open. What's happening here? Checkout queues are full. Where? Down here? <laughs> Where is it full? Where are we doing so good? It's the, it's the shop. It's our Wally world. My god. My god. We need some more janitors, by the way, from... Do we have janitors right now? I can't even tell. There's, there's just so much fucking humanity here. No, we do have a janitor. Okay. I'm going to have to have hire more janitors for the rest of the day now, too, because so many people... Yeah, look, people are getting pissed off in the checkout lines. Um, why are you missing? Is somebody coming in to work here? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're missing an extra person at nighttime when it, when it gets busy. So we do have to move to the 1-2 system that I talked about. So we actually do need another person. Well, I'm going to play out the rest of the day here, and we'll hire them after the day is over. Jesus, we've... <laughs> <laughs> Look how much money we've made. We still have like you know, two more hours afterwards. And people, and not to mention, people are leaving a bit upset because everything's filled up. So, yeah, that's going really good. How are you guys doing for me here, huh? Jeez. Let's get a manage. Is that how we do that? Let's, here we go. So, fast food joint is making $323 dues. The store down here is making $10,000 dues for me. And then the store up here is making. 5,000, which is still pretty good. My god. How much did we make? 13,000, almost 14. Who boy. Uh, I think we're out of time, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like, let me know you're enjoying it. Again, suggestions for future things. Today's going to be my last episode for today, so um, I'm going to let 
the last episode and then this one air maybe, and then I'll start recording a bit more with some suggestions. So, um, hey, things are looking quite splendid here, and we're making money, which is great. So much that we might even make enough money to pay off our debt even before our loan date comes to play. So we'll see how that works out. I hope you guys are enjoying it, though. I will catch you next time.